What's up, guys? I'm gonna post a video showing um, doing my, doing a head sculpt of Tim Drake Rob, which is the figure I'm working on right now. And here's my setup. Here's uh, my reference material. And I was gonna post it earlier, but what happened was I'm using this Sculpey material. And the thing about it is, what what I'm doing to achieve kind of the skin tone that Tim Drake is. What I did was I mixed this with this. So, and the ones I got was a, it's called a Belge, and the, and the number is 093. And the other one's called, um, let me see, Tan Havana 301. So, um, I had to mix those together to achieve this. This is the clay that I'm going to be using. And if you're going to mix two Sculpeys, make sure you mix it very thoroughly. Because if you don't, it's going to look streaky. And that, for me, for my purposes, I don't want that look. Maybe if you do want to achieve that look, don't mix it as long. But I made sure I mixed it thoroughly. And here's another don't. One mistake that I did was I had a cardboard box. And what happened is when I was mixing this together the cardboard little specks got in it so make sure the surface you're working with is a surface that you know is like aluminum foil or a, a tough tough metal to achieve it and another thing i'm going to do is this cup whenever i'm done i'm going to cover it like so so uh any like the pollens in the air in my apartment don't you know get into it don't mess up the finish and right here, you're all probably wondering about this cup. This is where I'm going to put the access, you know, trash material. And I'm also going to cover that up because I may need it in the future. And what I did was I took two note flashcards and I put tape over it. So the thing about it is the little material in the paper might get in the clay there as well. So let me see, what else do I have? I have a little stand I made. I have the, my reference size. This is the size he needs to be, the height and the dimension. And here are my sculpting tools. Here are my here's my reference. And something that I have to keep in mind while I'm doing in this is that I'm not making Bruce Wayne. I'm not making Jason Todd. I'm not making Dick Grayson. I'm making Tim Drake, and I need to make sure that it looks like Tim Drake because all the Robins look a little bit different okay so let me see what else i have some of my own sculpting tools i put a needle and a pencil the camera can pick it up there it is the needle and the pen the mechanical pencil what's another tool i got my exacto knife you know that's that you can get that pretty much anywhere i got my sculpting tools from hobby lobby and i may be doing some things wrong guys uh, however, this is how I am planning to do it. In Sculpey, you know, the reason I like Sculpey is because, you know, this is a color that it, the skin's going to be. So I won't need to paint it. It's mixed in there. Okay. So, and you have to think, when I'm done with this figure, I'm going to put it on a shelf, you know. And it, it, by the color being dyed into the material, that it's not going to come off, you know. It may fade, but it's not going to come off. Like, paint may chip off. So... You're not making as much work for yourself. You already, the color's already there, okay? So I think it's time we get started, okay? Okay. 